Hello, good afternoon, September the 17th, 2013. This is CISG 114, Section 2, Web Technology and Light. Today is the first day of class for this semester, for semester 2013. So let's get started. Hello, welcome to this class. Um, this is a GE course, okay, with a course CISG 114. And then this is section number 2. All right, the name of this GE course is Web Technology and Life. Are you here in the right place, for the right class? Okay, good, welcome. My name is Bart. Normally my student would call me Dr. Bart. In Cantonese is what? Watson's what, okay? So you just call me Dr. What. And then I'm glad to be here to be with you this semester because I'm here to help to learn, all right? In this course, general education course. Okay, general education course, right? So, what differs a general education course from other courses you are taking, say, in your major? Any suggestion? Any suggestion? Okay, no problem. You're going to find out today. But first of all, let me inform you. This class goes from 2.30 to 4 o'clock. Now it's 2.40 already. We waste 10 minutes time getting things up. The longer in each class, we have three sections. Each section lasts for 30 minutes. Okay? So we're in the first sections of 30 minutes. And normally as a teacher, I will not talk more than 20 minutes. Okay? And normally, I will only talk during the first section. And the second 30 minute section is your soul time, okay? You need to participate in this class instead of sit on your seat and listen only. You need to do something. So study for the next week, okay? Study for the next week, but this week just give me some time to introduce to you. In each class, in the second 30 minutes, you are going to come up here, not all of you, only a selected few. Okay, and each one of you will have five minutes time, not more than it, because we want to share as much time as possible with as many students as possible. So, and you are going to tell us, the whole class, what you have discovered in this course over the past week. Okay, so you will have five minutes pitch, or individually, to tell us something about your learning in this course over the past week, starting next week, each class. We have 30 minutes for you individually to come up to share and you know the calculation. In 30 minutes time, if I'm going to give each one of you five minutes, so at most six students will come up next week in each class to do the sharing. Okay? Okay? Hi. Okay, okay. okay. Right. So who are supposed to come to do the sharing? Okay. I'm going to give you the sign-up sheet. Okay? And hopefully, when you see the sign-up sheet, you come to this table, okay? Or you come to this table, all right? And I will see names building up, okay? So that I know that, oh, next week you are going to come up to share with us something based on your understanding of what happened in this course in the past week, okay? You got it. This is your soul time for 30 minutes. Each class studying next week, I'm going to invite six of you in each class to come to do the sharing. And of course, in a week's time, if you did the sharing in the first day, you better not do it again in the second day. Give some time to other opportunity to other students to do it, okay? So this is going to be very interesting because your classroom, and you must have some say during the class time. And when you say something, it's about what you learn in this class. So you got it? The classroom participation is very important in this gene course. And I guess, let me open the door. Could you help open the door? the gentleman over there. Okay, I already spent three more minutes to tell you this very specific thing on this class GE. That is, study from next week, study from next week, in each class, there will be a section lasting 30 minutes requiring your participation. Go, go. Yes. Thank you very much. Don't come in late, next time. All right, it's okay. Don't, no excuse. Thank you for coming. Oh, what should I do at this point? 
gentlemen. But those of you who came in late, all right? So let me give you a syllabus. Who is the next person? Yes. Thank you. And uh, I guess you have some papers there. Now, may I stop using the next three to five minutes to help you understand the syllabus, okay? Now, you have a table here. I want you to raise your hand if you know the answer. Okay, let me see which table can do the best work, all right? I'm going to ask a question now based on the syllabus. How many pages are there in my syllabus? Which table? Which table? Okay, that table. How many pages? 14, okay? 14. Any objection? 13. Which is right? 13 or 14, as long as there's content there. 13, right? Okay, you are the arbitrator. Thank you very much. 13 pages on the syllabus. All right, next question. How many parts are there in the syllabus? How many parts? How many parts? Five parts, okay? Five. Any objections? Any objections? No, good. Five parts in the syllabus, 13 pages. Okay, next question. How many pieces of homework you need to do in this semester to earn some scores? No. Six? Any objection? Six? How many? Four. Four. Okay, someone say four. Any objection? If no objection, what are the four important homework you need to do in this semester? Tell us. Fine now. Any, any discovery? Okay. How many? Four, right? So what are those four homework you need to do in this semester in order to earn the score? Can you tell me? In which table? Yes, yes. In class participations and online activity. Well, these are things you need to do, but actually, are these are the major assignments. Any objection or clarifications? Can you tell me? Which table? Look, look, which part of the syllabus can you find? Which part of the syllabus can you find the answer to my question? How many pieces of homework you got it for? What are the four important homework or assignment you need to do? Which part of the syllabus can you find? Which part? A, B, C, D, E. Which part? Any, any discovery? Any discovery? Look, look. Any discovery? Which part? B. 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 Okay. Which page? Uh, five. Page five? Okay, let's take a look at page five. Okay, on page five, you read that. There are approximately three homework, right? Right? Can you read that to me? Yes, there will be approximately three major homework assignments. You got it, approximately, but now you got it already four. I say, right. So, what are the four major assignments? What are the four major assignments? Can you tell me which part of the syllabus can you find that? Assignment. Which part of the syllabus can you find? What are the assignments you need to do? Can I give you some hint? Look closer, not more than page three. Okay. All right. Can you find it now? You need to read the syllabus very carefully because that is what you need to do in the course. Okay. Which page? Which page? Page two. Right. Page two. Any objection? Page two. Okay. When you look at page two, which part of page two can you tell me? you can see how many homework or assignments you need to do and what are those assignments. Can you tell me what are those assignments? Yes. Yeah. Individual assignment, pair assignment, and? Okay, these are very sensible words, but are these the name of the assignments? You got it very close. Any idea? What are the assignments? We say four, right? Four. Which three parts? 
the last one. Oh yes, what are those homework assignments? Can you tell me the name? Can you tell me the name? Moodle. Moodle. Okay, on what page? Okay, on which page? Now help, help yourself. You need to work it out. Read the syllabus. Read the syllabus. It's already there. Not far from it. On page two and three, and you read very carefully. Yes. But these are some topics. But are these the name of the assignment? What's the name of the assignment? Look very carefully. I give you 10 seconds. I'm going to skip silent, except for count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. I give you a hint. It's on page two. Look carefully. Page two. Look very carefully. What are the names of the three major assignments plus one more important assignment? What are the names of the three? major assignments plus one important last assignment on page two. Can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it? On page two. Let me give you one more hint. Look at the very last table on page two. Look. Learning portfolio, very good. What assignment is this? The last one, right? It's considered as a project, right? Project. The name of that assignment is learning portfolio. Then what are the names of the other three assignments you need to be aware of? What? Could you, could you look at the table very carefully? Okay, when you look at the table, what does the second row tell you? What does the second row in the table tell you? You have what? You have what? Can you read that? Can you read that? What does the second row tell you? They have one, two, three, four, five, six rows in this table, right? What does the second row tell you? Learning contract. In front of the word learning contract, what's that word? Free, right? So obviously it's free learning contracts you need to do. And each learning contract is composed of lady, individual assignment and, and pair assignment and team assignment. That means you have free learning contracts to do. In each of these learning contracts, you have something called individual work, you have something called pair work, you have something called teamwork. Okay, three plus the last one. Which is the last one? No, three. Project work. Project work. Okay. Learning portfolio. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah. Three learning contracts. Each learning contract involves individual work, pair work, and teamwork. Plus the project, which is a learning portfolio. So what is a learning portfolio? What is a learning portfolio? Can you guess? A learning portfolio is a profile which keeps track of the learning over the past three contracts. That means whatever you produce in the past three learning contracts, those items that belong to you you need to put it in your learning profile and we use the word portfolio to describe it. Okay, did you see the meaning of it? Now, let's take a look at the proportion of the score. How many points can you gain for each learning contract? And 10 points. So each learning contract could earn you the maximum of 10 points, right? Now, how many points are you going to gain in the learning portfolio? 
20 points. So it's what? Two thirds of the total score for the free learning contracts. That means it's going to be important. And why is it important? It serves as the foundation for you to reflect on what you should have learned in the first free learning contracts. And for those things you have already done, you do it again with a better result, you got a high score. They are connected. Okay? So, is it clear how many homeworks you need to do in this course? Yes. Three learning contracts. Each learning contract involves individual work, pair work, and teamwork. And the last one is a project, is a learning portfolio. The good news is, the first learning contract, you do not have to do any teamwork. You just have to do individual work and pair work. For the second and the third learning contract, you need to do individual work, pair work, and teamwork. So what does it mean? You need a learning partner first. Learning partner. So in this class, you are going to look for your learning partner. So the two of you become a pair. Okay, it's your choice. I will not do it for you, alright? So you will have time to talk to one another in the third half an hour period throughout this week. And by the end of next week, you must give me your learning partner's information. Send me an email. Okay, so that I will keep track of who is your learning partner. And once I know who is your learning partner, you will be given some space in our web environment to do the work. All right? Do you remember what you need to do before the end of next week? You need to find a learning partner. How do you find it? In each class, towards the last 30 minutes, I will give you some time to talk among yourself. Look up who is going to be your learning partner. Remember, you need to decide on your own. I won't do that for you. Unless, towards the very end, you just come to me. Sir, I cannot be accepted as a learning partner. Can you find me one? Then I will do that. All right? The lottery does not work. You can find one on your own. All right? But it's going to be okay. It's a fine drill. Don't worry. All right? So is it clear? It's very important in any course you're going to take, including this GE course, you need to be aware of what you need to do to get a good grade in this course. And I've just told you, three learning contract plus one project. Okay? So, what are we going to help you to learn in this course? And of course, it's called web technology and life. It's not totally about teaching you something about technology, but help you to develop your personal perspective of why this is important. What impact does technology <coughs> mean? Well, now let me ask the next question. When you look at the syllabus, how many course learning objectives do we have in this particular course? How many course learning objectives do we have in this course? Can you tell me? Any table? Look, I give you one minute. Look. Three. Three! Good! Where can you buy it? Page three. Page three! Where in? Where? Page three? Oh, where in page three? Page one, right? Okay, any objections? Can you see the three learning objectives in page, on page one? No objection. Thank you very much. I can see that. Page one. Yeah. Three learning objectives. On page one, you have two. On page two, you have one. So you have three learning objectives. Now, I would like you to spend two minutes. Read through the three learning objectives in each table. All right. Now it's time to do some exercise. After the two minutes, you stop doing some table work. Okay, two minutes, each one of you read through the free learning objective on page one and page two. All right.
This is going to be an exciting time for my students in each table as they are working through the three important course learning objectives in this class. And in a minute, I'm going to invite each table to create some interesting pictures of their own to describe what these learning objectives are all about. Okay? Stay in tune. Okay. Now that you have already spent almost two minutes there, I have already end the first half an hour of my talk now. Although I say it will be studied next week and individually, you will come up here, but in this week, the two class, I still have the student participations. And what you have to do now is, you grab a piece of A4 paper on your table, each one of you with a piece of A4 paper, and in, on that piece of A4 paper, you select one of the three learning objectives you just read from the syllabus, okay? You select one of the three learning objectives. You select from the syllabus, okay? And you try to name the learning objective one, two, one. One, two, three, okay? If you select the first one, name it one. If you select the second one, name it two. If you select the third one, name it three. Okay? Very simple. You follow me? Did you follow me? Each one of you select one learning objective from the three, okay? And if you select the first one, put a one there. If you select the second one, put a two there. If you select the third one, put a three there. Now, that is the challenge now. Next, on the same piece of A4 paper, okay, you will have five minutes time to draw a picture to represent that learning objective. To draw a picture to represent that learning objective. Now remember, no descriptions in English, no descriptions in Chinese, just picture. All right. So you have five minutes time. Go ahead, each one of you do that. Pick a piece of A4 paper, select your learning objective, put the number there, and draw a picture. Okay. You have five minutes time to do that. Not the blue paper, the white paper. Okay. Each one of you will have a piece of white paper, A4 paper. And on that piece of A4 paper, you select a learning objective, okay? And put a number next to that paper, represent the objective you select, and you draw a picture representing that learning objective. Okay. Okay, what you have to do is, you see, we have three learning objectives, right? One, two, three. If you select this, put the number three. If you select this, put the number two. If you select it, put the number one. Here. Yeah. You, you do not need to write your name, okay? And then after you select this number one, you try to draw a picture to represent this. Yes. Draw a picture. Yeah, draw a picture. It's easy, right? Okay, you have five minutes time to do this job, all right? You have five minutes time to do this job. Just get ready. It's fun, right? Hey, you need to do something, right? You cannot just sit there. <laughs> wow, well, we have to do something together. Well, you do not need to write a name there, but if you want, it's okay, because you don't, you don't need to turn it into me but you have to use it for discussions in your table. You have five minutes time to draw the picture. Very good. This is an exercise, a creative exercise, to see how you represent and understand the course learning objective. And this kind of exercise could help my students learn what exactly is meant by it. Yes, I'm here. No, there's no example, there's no picture. Now, remember, you read this, this objective yes, and then you try to represent it using a picture. What, what, what yes. Is yes, 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 yes. It's your perception. I cannot teach you your perception. Okay. You can draw an, an apple there, and uh, it, you can interpret it good enough, right? So it's a picture to represent your perception of that learning objective, right? 
Uh, remember, you need to put a number first. The number tells me and also you which learning objective you've chosen, okay? All right, you have five minutes. It's going to be fun, you see. We love to study like that. You need to draw it to represent your understanding of the chosen objective. You just need to choose one. It's the first one with one there, and the same one with two there. Yeah, yeah draw a picture to represent your understanding. Okay, you need to exercise your creativity to do that. Wow, I love this class very much. I see all of you are so serious about doing that. It's very good. First day of class, all right? pictures coming up already. Very interesting. Wow, very, very analytical and very detailed too. It's great. The boys are great. Girls are interesting. Very attention to detail. That's great. Now remember to put the number next to your picture so that we know which objective you have chosen, okay? It's going to be fun. Knowledge and lie would give you the first assignment to a picture. Uh -huh. That's interesting. Now you don't have much time left. You have one minute. Which picture have you, have you drawn? Okay, starting from this moment onward, I would like you to go round robin within your table clockwise. You know what is meant by clockwise? Start from any person in your table. That person will start introducing to the whole table your interpretations of that learning objective you have chosen. And that person must not spend more than three minutes to interpret your picture to the whole table. And you go clockwise, okay? Clockwise, clockwise. If your table has already had all the pictures ready, or even is not ready yet, you start from the person who got the picture ready. And that person will use not more than three minutes introducing to the whole table the meaning of your picture your interpretations of the learning objective. Okay? Here you go. Go and do the introductions. Alright? Let me hear some voices talking. Alright? So it's very important that you try to convince your table what it means by your interpretations of the objective. Here we go. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? Because we cannot spend more than 30 minutes in this particular part. So now, for those of you who got the picture ready in your table, you should start helping the rest of the table understand what it means by your picture, based on the objective you have already chosen. So may I just invite the rest of the table now, if you have not finished drawing the picture, stop drawing it now and just listen to the person who would like to interpret it for you. Let me do that now. Stop the conversation. Stop the sharing. Stop the sharing. Stop the drawing. Stop the sharing. Go. No, I guess maybe we can stop first. Go. Go. You have the you have the picture now. Stop. Not more than three minutes. Tell the whole table what you mean by it. Okay. Tell. Tell. Tell, don't be shy, it's your soul time now. It's your soul time now. Maybe you start from this lady and go like this, alright? Now you stop drawing now, listen, alright? It's very important that you listen now, okay? Maybe we start from you, stop drawing and we go like this. Not more than three minutes per person, alright? Not more than three minutes. Because we have four persons that use 12 minute sections here, at most 15. Go, go. Okay, stop drawing now. Now let's start with you. Go like this. Tell the whole thing what it means by it based on your chosen living objective. 
intelligence right? tell one another about your picture, why you draw this picture, all right? Very important to get everybody involved. Yeah, let's go ahead. You don't go across the table. It's your table here. All right. So keep going. Okay. If you do not have any picture drawn, look at it again within your table. And try to come up with some on your own. All right. Okay. Very good. I see you. Organize. There's a table talking with one another. Small group discussion. Okay. Very good. Very good. I'm so great to talk to you right now, now. Well, this exercise for my students to get engaged in the table discussions, to tell one another, to learn how to share based on activity, which is introduced by the teacher after a brief lecture, and they are getting excited now. In a minute, I'm going to group the students together for those who've chosen the same learning objective and see how they look at one another's interpretations of the same objective. And I guess this is going to be a very meaningful exercise after about 10 minutes' time. Here we go. Wow! Lovely discussions, right? So you, you finished already? So the next person is. Okay, and the next person is. Oh, okay, that's good. Keep going, keep going, you finish the next person. Thank you, wonderful. Wow, this is very interesting. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. Wow, yes, It's your perception because once you read a particular objective, you will have some basic understanding, even question. So you have to draw a picture to represent your understanding of this, and always have to be your choice. So you draw whatever picture to represent your state of understanding or state of question. Okay, you see the meaning of that? Okay, go ahead, enjoy it. Very interesting. Yeah, it's very good. I got a lot of questions and I got a lot of very inter interesting interpretation. Keep going. Don't don't give up. All right. Yeah. your mind. This is an exercise to help you to ask questions, weigh some questions, okay? Thank you very much. Very good. So keep going. Now, your job is to collect the idea you pick up from others, okay? And then in a minute, in a minute, you're going to use the blue paper, all right? In a minute, you're going to use the blue paper, all right? After you have heard or oh, everybody share, you need to use the blue paper, all right? Very interesting, exciting. In a matter of less than 15 minutes, you have you have to do a lot of interesting work, okay? Represent something you may not understand completely, and you have to represent it. You're so quiet. Everyone is done. Okay. If you have done through, gone through the sharing in each table, now remember you have two pieces of blue paper. Now I want you, I want you, the whole table, okay? To try to represent in that blue paper, 
two of you work as a pair, because in each table you have four persons, okay? So two of you pick one piece of blue paper, the other two pick another piece of blue paper, and each pair work alone without telling the other pair to represent what you have just drawn, okay, for that particular learning objective in simple English, interpret for the other person what it means by these learning <coughs> objectives, okay? Each table now divided into two pairs. Each pair pick up one piece of blue paper, okay? And you need to write in that piece of blue paper very simple English to represent your understanding of the chosen objective because two of you as one pair has chosen two objectives. If the same objective, okay, don't worry. Just do it now. You have 10 minutes to do it now. 10 minutes. Okay? In, in case you have five person, that means two and three. It's up to you how to divide. Okay? So now it's time to use the blue paper to write in English. Okay? Very simple, concise English. What it means by the two learning objectives chosen by the two of you in that pair. Okay? So when you divide into two pair, Okay, each pair pick up one piece of blue paper, and each one of you in your pair has chosen one objective. Now, use your picture, use the learning objective, write very simple English to represent the meaning of the chosen learning objectives. Okay? Okay, do it now. It's very exciting. Remember, you have 10 minutes. We're going to end the sections at 3.25, all right? 325. You should have two pieces of blue paper in your table. So each table divided into two pairs. Each pair grab one piece of blue paper. And the two of you in your pair write on that blue paper the meaning of the two objectives. You can do it in font form, whatever it is, but you have to use English, okay? Based on English. Yeah. No problem. Definitely, each pair should have at least one objective. Because if you say that it's two, not one, right? If you have three persons, then you at most have three, and at the best you have one. Okay, so you have to divide now each pair. Take one blue paper. Write on that blue paper. So you come through group work, pair work, and then you come to do some conclusions. Very important that you try this exercise because you have to know what's to go in getting things done. The course learning objectives are very important. In this course, we just have three. Not very difficult. Okay? And you have to interpret for yourself what is meant by three learning objectives. Okay? Very good. And I, I love this classroom because in this classroom we can do all this kind of work. Very convenient. In a traditional classroom, you cannot do things like this. Very convenient. Very good, I see it. you're very actively engaged in this particular exercise. Yes, very, very good. You know how to make use of me. <laughs> your, your understanding of the chosen object, your heart has chosen object, it's a great I didn't say how many sentences up to you. <laughs> Don't think it's so complicated. Yes, each person chooses one. You have already one objective chosen in the previous exercise, right? So you pair with the person, you present your chosen objective, and use the diagram. Now you have to try this level of Do you understand? Do you want interpretation to be chosen? You have to exercise in the And you have to work with your partner. You don't work with your partner. Oh, now when she is 
And now you write it out using English to tell us what it means. Very good. Descriptions, you just have to share one objective good enough, all right? 
because two might be too long. One would be good enough, all right? So each table, when you select a reporter to do the sharing, you just need to select one objective to share with it, all right? So you will be given for one to three minutes time to do the presentations in a minute. And you need to tell the other which learning objective are you representing and you might want to bring your diagram there so I could videotape a diagram and then I could see what exactly is this. The person who speaks does not need to move. The, the gentleman can move the diagram so that we can, we can pan in a minute, all right? So we can speak. Very interesting. Almost ready. Now, in less than one minute. So, I need volunteer. Which table? Okay, goes first. You can raise your hand if you're ready. Okay, if not, then I'm going to pick one individually. So, let's get started. Time's up now. May I invite a table to start sharing your interpretations of one selected learning objective from this course? First, you need to show us the picture. Then, you need to tell us through your reporter what it means by that. So, may I invite um, your table? Is it okay? All right. My camera is panning to this table. So, one person has to stand up to share one selected learning objective and then one person need to come up here to show the picture so that my camera can have a left shot of your picture. Okay? Who is going to stand up? Oh, very good. Who's going to come up with a picture? Okay. So you please come to the here and uh, would you please get the microphone to the lady and other persons get the microphone to the lady. All right? Over there, the microphone. All right, so you bring the microphone to the lady, and then, thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, you have a seat, and then let me do a panning. Please tell us your name, all right? So, hello. Hi, my name is Lysandra, and then we chose objective number three, which is the picture of the influences our thoughts and actions and the web makes our life better. Okay, that's very good. So this is your interpretations of objective number three. three. Thank you very much. Let me have a close-up of your picture. Wow. This is from... Lysandra. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Have a seat. Okay, another table. If we have time, you can come back to your table again. So, may I just come to your table? Hey, could you please pass the microphone to the table? Yes, who's going to be the speaker and who's going to hold up the picture? All right. The person who speaks, pick up the microphone. The person who would like to show us the picture, please come closer so that I could have a snap of your picture. Yes. Remember, only one selected learning objective. All right. Um, hello. We select a top one, uh, topic one, and uh, to make studies know why true is a la latest web web technologies and it have in interactive technologies and uh, more faster and more clearly than. Web one, and we can use in the modern life very healthy and more convenient. Okay, thank you. What's the name? Um, Honey. Honey. Let me just have a close up on the picture. Thank you for the ladies' work. All right. Okay. Which table is next? Can I just call for yes, this table? Yes. Pass the microphone to them. Uh, the speaker, please stand up, and then the person who holds the picture. Could you come closer? Who is the speaker? Uh, 
hello everyone, I'm Claire. Okay, uh, the lady in front of you cannot block the view. Huh? I, need to, I need to see who's the speaker. I can only see the two pieces of paper. Okay, don't be shy. Okay. My name's Thank you. Can I see the picture? <laughs> yes. Uh, now I have a close up now. Very interesting. Um, and we choose uh, objectives one. Okay. Because uh, we think this is the easiest uh, object that we understand. That we, have, we can understand. And uh, what's your interpretation? Interpretation. Yes, based on the picture. Uh, yeah, um, because uh, the op op uh, here say uh, latest web technology uh, or in impacting the daily living uh, using modern day examples. So we think uh, we think now. Yes, can we see the picture? Inter uh, web Web technology, just like this picture. Okay. We, uh, we can know everything from the internet. All right. Mm, that's, yeah, and but the impact, uh, one disadvantage of the uh, technology is uh, uh, now in the inter internet era, pop up too many people uh, using cell phone when they eat. Okay, so um, that is a very interesting example. And the advantage is uh, improve student ability of using computer. Okay, that's good. Um, but uh, and when we find out some latest web technology, such, uh, such as Facebook, application apps of communication, hacker, uh, just by stealing other personal information, government information. Uh, and right. hacking someone's computer. This is uh, this is what we think is uh, web technologies nowadays. Okay. Yeah. We thank you very much for giving us very good examples of your interpretations. Thank you. So could you pass the microphone to the table next to you? And we are going to invite one speaker from that table and one helper to hold up the picture. I see some little accident happen in one table. Um, I appreciate your effort to help one another. That is team spirit. Very good. Okay. So any speaker from that table, would you like to stand up, pick up the microphone to face the, mic uh, the, the camera? What's your name? Hello. My name is No Kanye. Thank you. Which objective are you talking about? Objective two. Objective two. Can you can we see your picture? Yes. Then we have a close up. Wow. Very interesting. Full of details, right? Okay. Thank you. Can you tell us something about this? Yes. Yes. The interpretations of your objective number two. Thank you. All right. Yes. Just give it some sense. The teacher teach students um, what are uh, web tools and teach them what the web tools functions. Okay. And after that, students have their discussion for um, some case studies. Okay. Um. By having some case studies, um, it can bring some different ideas from students. Right. Students may have some ideas to decide the application size. For example, they may think of um, some idea um, of sun sign, uh, moon sign, etc. of the design of the application. Sounds good. Now, students student, student needs to do the final project to tell the teachers um, what he or she learned from. Okay, thank you very much. Once again, it's objective number? Number two. Two. Thank you. This is one example interpretations of objective number two. Now let's get, come back to this side of the room and see uh, this table. Do you have any speaker yet? Okay. Yes, come on. Pick up the microphone. Uh, pass the microphone to this gentleman. Okay, so uh, any person to help to show the picture? Let's see the picture first. 
Wow, let me zoom in. It's three. Thank you. This is objective number three, right? Yes. I see a very interesting circle with people around. Okay, now I can see it because it's a very nice sketch. All right, thank you. Can you tell us something? Um, this person they through uh, the internet to broaden their horizon, increase their knowledge, and okay. learn many things from all over the world. Okay. Now, so that is objective number three. Three. Okay. Um, this um, this poor person through discussing the use of the web to web tools. Okay. Um, to solve some question by internet. Wow, that's also very sensible. Thank you very much. What's the name? Uh, my name is Jason. Jason, thank you. Anything more you want to add? Um, uh, thank so. you. Thank you. Could you pass the microphone to the next table? Wow, that's very interesting. You need a speaker and a person to hold up the picture. You can see here uh, the student. Uh, he is describing uh, that uh, at present uh, computers are connected by internet and uh, web is close to our daily lives. Wow. Uh, uh, you can see uh, he is smiling. Oh. Uh, that represents uh, that. Um, uh, the internet uh, brings uh, so much convenience to our lives. That's uh, good. And uh, uh, our future uh, yes. uh, is for uh, the, the first objective. The first objective. Yes. Uh, our, um, I think uh, the first objective uh, teach, teaches us uh, how to express opinions of them. Okay. And, uh, encourages us to use the internet better. Uh, besides, uh, it uh, helps us get in touch with the latest internet technology. Great! Wow, you got a lot of good ideas. Thank you very much. Could you pass the microphone to the last table? Yes, we have a boys team here. <laughs> so, uh, who is the speaker? And could you pull up the picture? Yes, let's see. Wow. Let me zoom in first. Which objective is this? Which one. One. Okay, that's good. Oh. Yeah, you can tell us something more about us. I can see now. Nowadays, Facebook is the whole famous website in the world. Website in the world. Okay. In, uh, we, we can share some helping stuff. The student become Inter interface client wow. in, in, this way, in in Facebook. Okay. Then they will check it and learn something from it. Okay. In my opinion. That's in, great. In the easy way to make teenage feel interest to be it. Okay, that's good. You mean you use the Facebook as a tool? to help build up the teenagers yeah. well, using Facebook. Okay, good. We are looking forward to listen to more of your idea. Thank you very much. Now, let's give, us, let's give ourselves a big hand. You did a good job. In 30 minutes time, you start with learning the learning objective of this course. You pick your specific learning objective and you draw a picture to represent your idea of it and you try to interpret your picture with, to, with your friends in the table which works and then you present it. Well, that's what we are supposed to do every class study next week. So you do not need to be shy away from this opportunity to share your understanding with the whole class. Pick what you believe is important from our website each week each day, you can see I've given you some very good resources. And what you need to do is to pick your choice, study it, and find a way to express your understanding using not more than five minutes individually, and sometimes together with your peer partner in that five minutes. And if you have a team later on, you will have another five minutes, not more than 10 minutes, because in the team you're four person, right? 
So you learn how to do things on your own, share that with your partner, learn from your partner, give feedback, and then share with the whole class and listen to one another's interpretation. These will help you to understand to revise your own perspective and then we learn from one another, okay? This is the classroom that belongs to you and I am your servant teacher only. Okay, I help you to learn. I provide a whole semester's work in the website. Okay, let me just walk you through the website using not more than 15 minutes. Please pay attention to the white screen, okay? If you look at the white screen, this is the housekeeping block, the first one. You can see that I have the learning center syllabus exactly the same as your paper-based learning center syllabus. And then I have a theme song which could help you to go ahead. I have the rules and expectations of classroom participation which you've just gone through in this exercise. And I want to tell you that if there is anything you want to tell me, don't forget the classroom communications which you can see in a minute. And read the GE handbook because this is a GE course. And of course, we have a calendar here, you know, when to come to school, when we are going to have holidays. Any other things, you can read it on your own. I provide the English dictionary here, English Chinese dictionary here, and also some free to learn English courses here. And then each class, at the beginning of each week, I will give you a teacher's message from this class announcement. The first one is here. This is the teacher's message I sent you yesterday. And if you have any idea that you want to share with the whole class, you can use this social discussion forum to share it. Each one of you in this class is able to read and also return feedback to this. Now this is week number one, so you can see in this week number one block, you have two highlight columns here. I have a teacher's message here, which you should have read yesterday. I have a song of a piece of music selected for each week. And then I have some theme video, which is mainly YouTube for you to understand. You have to change a little bit. Today's classroom is quite different from yesterday's classroom. Very simple article to tell you what is meant by web technology. Is it web technology making your life better? The latest web is sometimes called Web 3.0, and because of Web 2.0, in the past 10 to 15 years, we do have a lifestyle which is called Live 2.0. You can print this and you can watch the YouTube video at home. Okay? And then for each day, okay, or better say for each week, I have the readings for that week. When you print the reading for that week, you will go to the resource page here where you can see a very interesting web page with all the related resources. Remember, you do not need to study them all. You pick your own, okay? One from each section will be very good enough. You don't have all the time to study them all. The purpose of this course is not to cram you with content. The purpose of this course is to give you all the possible choices. And you pick your own and you study that, you share with the whole class and you listen to people sharing and you learn as much as you can. All right? So this is an example page on reading. This is for reading for week number one. Okay? At the end of the housekeeping of an age where you also have some learning practice exercise. It's up to you whether or not you want to do it. This is taken out from your textbook. Okay, this is a textbook. Normally, my student will not buy it because sometimes it's very expensive. So the way to use it is to go to the library and take this book and photocopy the necessary chapter if they believe it's useful. Okay, I will not ask you to turn the homework of this textbook. Okay, no, this is not the kind of traditional course. This is a GE course which emphasizes on the freedom to learn. All right, but you need to put in effort to learn. The way you learn it is quite different from the traditional courses. And then if you look at each day, for example, today is day number one. There's something about this course I want you to learn, for example, the calendar of this course, which include the 14 weeks and which learning contract covers which week. Basically, we have three learning contracts to do, and each learning contract covers basically three weeks except for the first learning contract, which comes to this beginning width, so four widths for the first learning contract, okay? And three widths for the second, and three widths for the last learning contract. So you have a sequence of 10 widths, 
to finish your free learning contract. And then you have another free week to do your learning portfolio. To do your learning portfolio means to go back to each of the learning contract, pick what you have already done there, put it in your learning portfolio. All right, and you have a chance to revise them that makes you understand what you have done. And because of that, you will receive a maximum of 20 points. Okay, each learning contract will earn you only 10 points. So 30 points plus 20 points is 50 points. So what about the other 50 points? All right, so here we go. So you need to come to learn something about this course on assessment. When you look at assessment, Again, it's already sold in your syllabus. Another 50 points comes from your reading and collaborative activity. Reading means what? Each week, there is a reading suggestion. You take it, then you study it, you come to share. That is an indication to be answered. These, when you participate in class group sharing, 15 points. So, very important. And then 15 points for midterm exam and 24, 20 points on the final exam. Now, this is what I get in the past semester. I will ask the student if they want final exam. Okay? By the end of the first month, you have to decide on the basis of the whole cost voting, okay? Whether or not you want the final exam. If you don't want the final exam, what we have to do is we are going to redistribute the 20% of the final to the other items here, okay? Sometimes people will choose, let's divide it into four, uh, five points, and the first five points go to learning contract one to make it 15 points, the second five points to learning contract two make it 15 points, the third learning contract three 15 points, and then the last go to learning contract four to make it 25 points. This is one way, okay? But some of the students still want to have a final exam. So I keep the final exam, but without counting the score as an example of self-assessment, all right? So this is one way you can choose. Remember, you need to choose. So by the end of the first month, I will come back to you, and I was going to set up class survey. So I will collect your opinion. As, as long as more than half of the class say, I do not want final exam, we want to redistribute the score, we will do that, okay? But with that arrangement, we give enough respect for the people who want to negotiate first, so you can talk about this, all right? So, this is an example of the course design. And then, you do have learning design of this course. If you look at the learning design of this course, the first learning contract is built on the idea of inquiry-based learning. Inquiry-based learning. What is inquiry-based learning? Learning how to ask essential questions, okay? The second learning contract is built on the idea of self-regulated learning, SRL. What's meant by SRL is basically you need to learn how to manage yourself to accomplish the learning goals. Basically, you need to manage yourself to accomplish the learning goal within a specific time frame, free wins, okay? And you need to do it not just by yourself, with the help of your partner, with the help of another peer. So you're four persons working together. Manage yourself, manage the pair, manage the team. That's very interesting. You need to learn that. And the third learning contract is based on the idea of problem-based learning. The problem-based learning idea is very simple. You start with a problem. You learn how to ask questions based on your experience gained in the first learning contract. You start to manage your problem to be solved within a specific period of time based on what you've learned in the second learning contract. And in the third learning contract, which is problem-based learning, normally we involve two teams. So instead like of four person, you have two teams of eight persons working together. Now what is meant by that? You need to learn how to divide the work very carefully, monitor who's doing it, collaborate with one another so that you do not need to do it alone. It's going to be easy when the Chinese people say many hands makes the work easier. It's also going to be complicated when the Chinese people say many hands spoil the work. So you need to learn how to manage. Normally, as a college student, inquiry-based learning, self-regulated learning, and problem-based learning, things like this will happen almost in each course you're going to do in your college year. Earlier, the earlier, you learn how to 
get used to this kind of learning mode that you want. And this is the difference between college study and secondary school. Secondary school will talk to learn something. The teacher will always teach you to learn something. But in the college year, you learn to learn something because no one can actually spend that much time teaching you with every detail. You have to make sure you have the ability to learn to learn. The exercise you've just produced in the first half hour of this class is an example of learn to learn. All right? But there is a lot more you have to do. And so, in the final project, this is what we call the learning portfolio. The philosophy is integrative learning. You have to learn how to put things together. How to use your experience to collect the artifacts you learn and put it together and polish it in such a way you can showcase it to our people. You can explain to people. Remember the exercise you just done today. All right? So this is the philosophies of learning design. Now, I want to hold time, so I let you go home and drink a breath of it in terms of time management. Classroom participation is very important starting next week. You're going to experience coming up to share with others. And then classroom communication. Whenever you discover your problems and something you understand, come to me, talk to me, okay? You need help, come to me. Don't be shy. I'm here to help you. The always a way to help you out. All right? So including the possibility of you not being able to find a very partner. But I let you choose first, all right? And finally, look at day number two. Look, when we meet again, unfortunately, Friday is a, is a holiday, right? So we're going to be next week. But so, please go home and study this. Each one of these is a YouTube link. It just cost you from two to five minutes time to watch it. It must be done by yourself. Okay? And so you've got some perspective of the first week of study. And of course, when you come back next Monday, it will be day number three actually. So you also need to study a little bit about it. And remember, I will give you a science sheet, all right, in the social discussion forum. And if you would like to be one of the six person who's going to share next Monday, and one of the six person who's going to share next Friday. You're, you're not going to be next Monday, next Tuesday, right? And then uh, next Friday, sign this up, all right? Very simple, in the social discussion forum, you go there, you respond. I will be the person who do it. First come, first serve, okay? If we're more than 12 people signing up, we do lucky draw people there. So the more you do it, the more score you earn before the final exam, all right? So it's very interesting. Every class, you have a chance to do it, all right? So I hope you enjoy today's class, and make sure you do not forget. This is the week's learning journal. This is a notebook. If you create this, an electronic notebook will come up. You can use the type in your notes here. That means you do not need to write on a piece of paper anymore. This is an electronic notebook. Each week I'm going to give it to you. It's your personal notebook. I can read it, but no other person in this class can read it. All right? It's your electronic notebook. Use it to type in your understanding after you read the material. And this is the public discussion forum. I am going to use that to invite you to sign up for next week's student participation. You just need to respond to that. And finally, when you go home, print this thing. This is a survey on the first day of class. Just five questions, okay? Answer them, okay? Very simple. So that I can understand where are you from, why you choose this course, and what's your expectation. Uh, it's very useful for the teacher, all right? So having said that, I hope you enjoyed today's class. And go home, study the syllabus carefully. Go up to this Buddha environment. How many of you do not know how to get on the window at bottom? Can I show you before you go? Do you need me to show you how to get up to this? Okay, good. You need, right? So very simple. Let me just show you the like this. Go from the very beginning. Look at the white screen. Go to the, you go to the lead tab. Say, you go to the Universal Macau's uh, page. This is the front page, okay? 
And on this front page, you put the student's name. Here's a student's name, all right? And on the student's name, you have a web course here, web course. You click the web course. And you come to this web course, and we are using UF Moodle 2.5 here. Now, I'm already logged in. If you have not logged in, use your email's address text, whatever before the at sign, okay? And the password will be your email account's password. And then you will log into the page something like this, a lease of course, okay? And you select Web Technology and Life Section 2. When you click on this, you will be brought to this particular page. Simple. Before you go, theme song for the class. How many of you have heard the song? Remember, there's a message here, okay? Theme song for the class. Very